I want to first start off by looking at the current reality for our health systems from a global perspective, not just the U.S. A growing workload, shortage of medical experts, and declining revenues often lead to potentially dangerous backlogs of unreported examinations, especially in funded healthcare systems uh, in emerging markets. With the increased demand for radiological imaging, the continuous acceleration of image acquisition and the expansion of teleradiology, radiologists now more than ever are working under the increased pressure of time. And this pressure can no longer be compensated by improving the risk PACS uh, integration or use of speech recognition software. The impact, lab and radiology test turnaround times delayed are delaying patient disposition and have been identified as the main cause of reduced ED throughput. And as we have become acutely aware of with the COVID-19 epidemic, overcrowding stresses the ability of our emergency departments and ICUs to provide immediate access and stabilization to those patients who have an emergent medical condition. All this is providing a tide of interest in incorporating AI into the reading workflow, for it's been shown to intelligently automate manual tasks, freeing time for the radiologist to support informed decision-making and personalized care, providing decision support to the radiologist, notifying them of emergent conditions, and providing intelligence to back that up. And this includes both the read criticality as well as information to support a more narrow and accurate differential diagnosis. And AI has also been shown that it can assist in detecting patterns in the imaging data that are too subtle or complex for humans to easily see. In other words, AI can assist radiologists with not only managing a growing volume and complexity of exams, but also ensuring they're always reading for the right patient at the right time to give us a finer separation between stat and critical. The functions that AI enabled platform needs to provide are routing of scans to the appropriate AI algorithm, controlling the AI inferencing, managing computational resources to ensure that the critical studies are analyzed in a time appropriate manner, sending the results back to PACS for workless integration, displaying the results in a diagnostic viewer, enabling the radiologist to utilize the results or not, and most importantly, to keep up with a rapidly growing number of AI clinical applications being made available to us. It needs to support the rapid onboarding of algorithms from independent developers as well. And ask yourself the question, if an AI-based COVID detection algorithm were made available to you today, how would you implement this in your imaging workflows? And perhaps more importantly, how quickly could you implement it? The answer will most likely depend on whether or not your current PACS has a platform for rapid and easily onboarding of new clinical applications and what changes is required to your current workflows to integrate those applications. This is why the Edison team at GE Healthcare has created the Open AI Orchestrator. It utilizes unique visual orchestration engine that provides a flexible and unified solution to allow organizations to quickly deploy, automate, and manage non-AI as well as AI-based uh, algorithms into their imaging workflows. It provides a visual method to instrument and optimize imaging workflows, rules to manage in the use of the AI applications, and an ability to triage and prioritize exams to provide timely decision support. So let's see how it works. First, exams from the imaging scanners are sent into the PACS. The Edison AI Orchestrator, an optional component to the Centricity PACS, watches the exams coming into the PACS and runs rules on them based on DICOM header information, such as patient age, modality, body part, and even the imaging location that the patient might reside at, such as the ED. Uh, it executes one or more decision and routing workflow maps that are engaged with the visual editor, matching the relevant exams with the uh, proper AI clinical apps and routing uh, the exams to these applications wherever they reside, on-premise or in the cloud. In this case, if a chest X-ray arrives from the patient who's 18 years or older from the ED, it can be routed to the pneumothorax detection algorithm and given a high priority for processing. It then takes the AI results back from these algorithms uh, and, the, new, and uh, the probability scores and any location references such as heat map, image overlay, and passes these back into the PACS. From there, these results are made available to the radiologists at the right points in their workflow, both in their work list and in the diagnostic hub as well as in the viewer itself. What I'm showing you here is our centricity workflow manager and intelligent work list that's, that's provided with our diagnostic radiology PACS viewer. The AI results are presented in the appropriate places in this workflow so they can be used to triage and prioritize the reading for an individual or for a group. Here, 
Uh, it's a little hard to see, but what I'm showing is that for any individual work list, we can see the total number of exams, the number of staff exams in red, and on the right, the number of, that, have been criti that have critical AI findings associated with them. Now, these results can also be used to sort the exam list, so the ones with critical findings are at the top. And any exam that has a critical finding is flagged, and, and actually hovering over that flag can very quickly display the results to the same holds for any exams uh, that are priors with critical findings. Finally, in our diagnostic hub area, the reader can not only view the exam notes as well as any relevant EMR notes, but they can also see the summary report provided by the AI algorithms on the exam. So the most important things to know in this example are that we're not changing the radiologist reading workflow, we're enhancing it. And the AI orchestrated algorithms share a common user experience. There are no additional interfaces or workflows that the radiologist is required to learn or use. And most importantly, we have not added any additional clicks to the radiologist workflow. Next, when the radiologist opens a case to read, the AI results can automatically be incorporated into the hanging protocols. This allows the AI results to be shown along with the current study, deployed as a secondary DICOM capture or by using the DICOM structured report standard, otherwise known as CADSR. Uh, in this example, we're seeing the probability score of a pneumothorax finding along with a heat map overlay showing the area in the lung at which it was detected. Um, now, at this point, I want to point out that what I'm showing you in these last few slides the manner in which the AI results uh, are being uh, incorporated into the workless and viewer does not require our orchestrator. If the AI results are coming directly from a scanner or Edison Edge device, such as in the case of the GE Healthcare's AI-enabled CT ultrasound or X-ray scanner, such as Raul showed you. For instance, the user would have the same experience in reading an exam that was produced with our mobile X-ray running the critical care suite as it would if it was or, uh, the critical uh, care suite algorithm was orchestrated uh, directly in the PACS. And then finally, since the Edison AI orchestrator is an open system, users can configure the workflows to include code that can interact with other hospital systems, such as a paging or notification system. For example, a rule can be written so that if a probability of finding score exceeds some confidence threshold, a text or email could be automatically sent to some member of the care team to alert them. Now, one more note before I move on. Uh, for our webinar attendees that are not US-based, I want to point out that the workless prioritization that you've seen is currently only available in the US. However, the AI results viewing capabilities are available to you to, uh, in the viewer to provide diagnostic decision support during your read. Now, let's take a look inside the OpenAI Orchestrator. By way of a visual workflow editor, it explicitly documents the rules and routes for the exam data and AI processes, the required parameters of operation, and subsequent actions. It manages the interoperations along with the various imaging devices, data stores, and other information technology systems. Initially, bringing this to market, this is only compatible with our GE PAC system. In the simple workflow graph, you can see the decision points, the processing elements, and other operations as color-coded shapes. And all this makes the AI processing explicit and understandable to clinicians, not just IT personnel. And most importantly, it provides your teams an easy way to instrument and improve your workflows. And through the administration interface, you can easily see all the AI processes and control their operation. You can even run multiple instances of the workflows and then compare the impact of various parameter settings, such as the confidence thresholds. Now, at this point, you might be asking yourself, where do all these AI-based clinical applications come from? Uh, they come from our Edison uh, for the AI Open Orchestrator, these are provided directly from GE Healthcare, as well as a network of our third-party partners. And they include applications that are regulatory approved for our scanners and PACs, or that are certified for proper operation with our orchestration platform. And to assist our customers to spend less time finding, evaluating, and purchasing the right software from GE Healthcare and our partners, we've established a software marketplace. Visitors to this marketplace will be able to browse their software uh, see a list of their current GE devices, and be able to quickly um, see new items that are available for those devices that they have. They'll see what software is compatible with the products. Uh, they can review the pricing, and the information is tailored to them based on what they have. And they can also manage direct download of software trials, installations, and updates. And in the future, we may include AI and developer components from startups to accelerate clinical innovation and research outcomes as well. So all this adds up to what we call the open PACS AI experience, as it allows our centricity PACS to incorporate and utilize AI results coming from a wide variety of sources. 
It can come directly from a scanner or an edge device connected to a scanner. It can be uh, acquired from GE Healthcare or a wide variety of, of third-party AI vendors. It's orchestrated by a flexible and scalable workflow engine that's part of the PAX, and it's floated to your radiologist existing reading workflows through a uniform and seamless experience, both in the Centricity Workflow Manager and the Universal Viewer. The bottom line, this platform approach enabled by a flexible and open orchestration engine can facilitate seamless integration of AI-based clinical applications without requiring you or your IT teams to change your workflows. And it allows easily onboarding the existing and new applications from multiple vendors, providing a rapid and robust scalability. It provides a uniform interface and user experience across multiple AI-based applications. And most importantly, it doesn't add any additional clicks to your radiologist. So there's no denying it, healthcare is changing at a very rapid pace. And in radiology, it's not enough simply to read faster, nor is it realistic. Therefore, in today's environment, is one in which AI is no longer an idea or the future, it's a requirement today. Your organizations may soon be able to choose from thousands of algorithms that could potentially detect concerning features and images from multiple modalities in seconds. And while this evolution, change may, uh, this evolution may change your radiologist's traditional role, it also means they can spend less time performing manual tasks and more time interacting with critical members of the care team and their patients. The introduction of AI brings with it a sharp realization that life as we know it is forever changed, and the future belongs to those willing to transform. And we here at GE Healthcare hope you choose us as a partner in your transformation.